Hello wonderful people. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create uh, a sales advert using Facebook. And what we will be looking at is how to use paid post engagement to create a sales advert on Facebook. Let's assume you have one particular product or the other you want to sell, then you can set to create a page. If you don't know how to create a page, you can easily watch any of my videos that I've posted recently. Then you'll be able to see how to create Facebook page in any of my Facebook adverts. So now from here, I'll just move on all the way from pages. Uh, I have about three pages here. I have general key, I have digital marketing, I have weight manager. I would love to use the weight manager aspect. So I'm choosing the weight manager aspect. Now, I've created this page already, so what I'm just going to do here is to create a post which I'm going to use for adverts. Now, this is a post already on my page. Lose more weight within this. 100% natural without side effects. Learn more. That is by clicking on this particular link. But I'm not going to use this particular post. I'm going to delete this and create a new post from, the, from scratch. So now I'm creating a new post now. I'm creating a post. Shared five to five to nine cages within within days. Or let me say how to shed five to nine cages within this hundred percent natural and organic organic without side effects. Then I can try to put my phone number. Okay, let me just say free delivery and payments on delivery nationwide. Call so. For more or to order, so now this is my post. So I'm going to upload an image. Let me click on this. So let me check if I have any waste management. Okay, I have this. I can decide to use this. Just make sure you are using. A gorgeous picture for your adverts so i'm uploading that particular image so by uploading this particular image i'm going to click on post i'm posting it okay i posted the um this particular content you can see it now concerning how to Run advert instead of me to just click on boost directly. I'm not going to do that. What I'm just going to do is I will click on this this plus button here. Click on it, then click on ads. It's going to take you to Facebook Ads Manager. If you have run advert with your Facebook account with this, I have run advert with this Facebook account before. But if you are just starting to run advert for the first time. This is not what is going to show you. Whatever it show you, uh, the best way to get how to navigate it is to look at my previous video. That is Facebook lead generation advert on how to do this. So you'll be able to see what to click next and what not to click. So uh, from there, you'll be able to land yourself in any page is going to land you now. So now, now. I click on create ad. I'm going to click on engagement. I want to create a post engagement advert that is targeting my weight management post. 
So now what I just need to do is when I click on engagement, I'm going to click on continue. The reason why I decided to be using engagement for the beginning is because at the moment, Facebook is bringing up some new policy these days that you won't be able to run adverts directing people to your WhatsApp, to your website, unless you have run adverts successfully for about four weeks or thereabouts on Facebook without going against any of your policy. That is, and they're not picking on any of your adverts. That is the best thing um, you can do at the moment. So, for that being the reason, we are still going to be managing our adverts on our social media platform that is on our facebook account you can try to use messenger on that graphic but for the for beginners this is what you need to put in mind so now i am going to give my campaign a name i can say weights weight management weight management adverts the reason why you need to rename to give your campaign a name is because you uh you are going to be running multiple adverts and for you to be able to get the adverts you want to check on or you want to post or you want to edit so you have to give it a campaign name then after that you just go down to where you can see budget now budget depend uh your budget on facebook or on your advert depend on your pocket size as for me, I can decide to use five dollar per day. I can decide to use six dollar per day. I can decide to use ten dollar per day, twenty dollar per day. So it depends on your pocket size. But for the purpose of this practical, I'm going to use just six dollar per day on my advert. Six dollar is around two thousand plus or there about when you convert it to naira. So now the next thing is after putting your budget, just click on next. Now, under next, I can decide to rename my ad sets as well. I can just say weight sets. I don't do this, but for the purpose of the particular, I'm doing it weight sets. Okay. After that, um, under this budget and schedule, it tells you when your advert starts and when to stop your advert. But um, as for me, I would advise you not to actually go into setting end date for your advert simply because you might actually set the wrong end date or why setting the end date you might actually pick the wrong digit or as a result as a result of service um, i mean network issue connection issues you may actually pick on one particular date and due to error in network it may not set to that date and set on that date so it may actually lead to some kind of issues if you are not careful so the best thing is to leave it to run continuously if you know that your budget is $50, after spending your $50, just be monitoring your advert. Okay, I've spent $20, I've spent $30. Once you have advert, your, your spending cap will reach the budget you already set for yourself. Just come ahead to Facebook ad uh, manager, then stop your advert from there. So that is the best thing to do. So just leave the end date on touched. So now, under yes, audience, that is the look audience. Depend on location, age, and gender. Now, under location, you are selling products. Let us assume you are selling a, a, a some particular product that you just want only Lagosians to buy from you. Maybe you don't know you are you still don't know how to cover other parts of Nigeria, like other states in Nigeria, like Abuja, River States, and other states in Nigeria like that. So you can leave it to Lagos State or limit it to where you can actually be able to deliver your product. But as a result of what we are selling in the academy, like weight management, uh, like um, weight management products, libido products, and other products, you can decide to target the whole of Nigeria. And it's not even advisable to limit your adverts to only Lagos State because majority of your sales will come from outside Lagos State. I can beat my chest to that. Majority of your sales is going to come from outside Lagos State. So I'm leaving my advert to Nigeria. But under the age range, you have to do some kind of due diligence. What I mean by that is you have to do some kind of assignment, personal assignment. Whenever you want to run adverts, go online and look for the for the location or for the age range that that will be able to pay for your advert, the gender that think your advert the most. Now I'm running a weight management advert. What am I going to do is I'm going to select the working class. I mean the working class that I know that they can purchase my product. And um, my own working class that can purchase my products around Nigeria should begin from 29, 30. So I prefer to start from 30. 
and um, from 30, I would like to stop at maybe 45. The reason is because somebody above 45 or 50 or thereabouts, they will not care much about their weight. Now, on that gender, you have to be so careful. By selecting all gender, uh, you are targeting men and women. As a result of this, we all know that majority of men in Nigeria with sport bellies, with big body, they see it as a sign of good living. Even though it is as a result of a lot of fats in their body, they still see it as a result of good living. But you see females, they always want to look um like under 16 they want to look sexy to their husband they don't want their so they want their husband to look outside so for the, for this reason they are the ones searching for weight management products most online so as a result of this what are we going to do now we are going to limit our adverts to targeting only females are you with me so if that as you are selling libido product like sexual um sex booster for men or sex enhancement product you target men you are selling infertility products to start in target women, like fibroid, ovarian cysts, um, and other infertility issues, fallopian tube blockage, and others. So you target females. So you have to do your due diligence very well to know the, the gender that need your products the most and limit your advert to that gender alone. So don't touch anything on that language. Data targeting deals with um, you targeting some set of people. Like demographic, interest, and behaviors. Like people, other behaviors is maybe people that have actually showed interest, in, uh, people that have actually showed interest in one particular product or the other. Let's say you want to run adverts for on, on a product that bankers need, you decide to use interests. Like people that have showed interest in banking sectors. But I won't be touching this today. In our next advert, I may be touching it. So, under placement, um yeah there are a lot of activities we need to, there are a lot of things we need to look into on that placement facebook has a lot of platform that it's run its adverts on aside from facebook news feed Insta, instagram feed facebook marketplace and other facebook um facebook channels there are some other channels that facebook is in partnership with like audience network and other one now um as a result of this each of these platform requests for different kind of image size or video Dimension. So as a result of this, when you set, let us know I'm using one particular image on my, on my what is it called on my Facebook, on my posts which I want to use to run advert. I can decide to say okay, well, I'm going to select some multiple channel that will be able to accept that kind of image spec, image specification. So as a result of this, I'm going to alight, um, check out some parts that I won't be running my advert on, like Instagram. My ad account is my account is not connected to any Instagram account. So as a result of this, when I get to his stage, maybe on that ad, Facebook is going to prompt me to to connect to an Instagram account, but I don't have that now. So as a result of that, I'm just going to check out anything Instagram from the lists, anything Instagram from the list. Then um, other parts you can set to leave them as long as they are shared. You can set to leave them. Um, stories also stories is not checked yet, so that's good. So I'm going to leave it like that. Or oh, and if you know that you just want to limit your advert to only Facebook news feed, you can decide to do that. But make sure you do your due diligence very well. I want time will permit me to explain everything under this particular um placement. So you can also do some kind of personal assignment on your own and look into them yourself. So now from here, I'm going to click on next after I've selected the channels I want my advert to be shown to. So now after that, I'm clicking on next, then we are going to the last part of our advert that is under ad. So I can just say wait ad as the ad name, wait ad. So after that, it's asking for Facebook identity, that is your Facebook page identity. That is the page you want to use in running this advert. The moment you click on this, Select page, you click on this personal pages, then click on the page you want to use to run advert. I'm using weight management. So I'm going to select after that. You can see what I'm telling you concerning Instagram. I didn't I didn't check out Instagram placement. It will request me to actually connect to Instagram on this part. So now after that, add setup, use existing posts. So I want to use existing posts on the on the particular page I selected, which is weight management. Waste manager, so I'm going to select a post under here. 
you can see under ad creative i'm selecting a post but that doesn't mean you don't have a post but you want to publish a post to that particular page you can try to create a post here you can create a post here and you can select a post as well so i'm selecting a post which i've created already how to share five to nine kgs within nine days so oh because i click on this before so i'm selecting a post So I've selected this particular post. The reason why you are seeing error message here because I have not selected a post before, but the moment I selected it, the error message is nowhere to be found. Now I want you to look at all these placements. Look at this particular in stream. It's showing us a kind of error message here. It's telling us that this particular image spec does not go along with this in stream placement image spec so as a result of this um you just leave it like that it doesn't affect anything it's just not going to show on this particular in stream so after that i've selected the post then the next thing is i can decide to add a button um don't forget i told you not to uh not to add what is it called not to add your website link by clicking putting lemo you can decide to add shop now yes you can start to add shop now. Now, this is the secret here. If you click on, if you post Lemo, Facebook might not as approve the adverts. But I'm seeing some new pages on Facebook these days that are running adverts and they are using shop now. So as a result of that shop now, it's just as if they are directing them to websites. So let, let me just say I'm putting my um website, let me say WhatsApp link here. HTTPS forward slash so the moment you put that if even though it's your website link just put it if you put shop now facebook will accept it but if you put lemon it might not accept it i said it might not i did not say it's not going to accept it so update the posts so after that, I've updated the post. So the last thing here is just to click on publish. But before we click on publish, I will advise you to double check or in fact, triple check on your advert to see if there is any error, any mistake that you need to look into. You start from the ad set under where you selected um, location, age range then gender check it very well check it maybe this set um end date you can see everything is intact here everything is intact go and check your budget how much did that put as budget check your budget again that is six dollar everything is intact click on next click on next then carefully look into the ads as well look the way it's going to appear then there is one thing i'm going to show you here as well you can decide to see the way your advert looks like to the way it appears to your audience or to your customers. How do you do that? Just come down to this preview aspect, then click on this arrow on this top right corner. Click on it, then send notification to Facebook. You want to click on send notifications to Facebook. A notification will be sent to you the moment that advert has been approved and it has been it is. Um, Facebook has approved it and it's now active. The moment it is active, it will start appearing to people. But Facebook will notify you that your ad is now ready for preview. So you can go and see it to look the way it looks like. So after that, all you just need to do is click on publish. But all this that I'm saying, you must have add your ad account, uh, I mean payment information to your ad account. If you click, I'm not publishing this, I'm only using this for tutorial purpose. The moment you click on publish, it's going to load it. Then after that, Facebook is going to review it. Then after the review, the adverts will be once the advert is not against their policy, their terms and conditions, it will be approved. Then it will start running. So the moment you see active after review, it means that advert is started running. So all you just need to do is to be checking on it from time to time and be checking maybe people are going to your website, maybe people are making purchases on your website or they are coming to your WhatsApp. Any of the one you put there. So now let's assume you want to add your payment information from the beginning 
or at this junction what you just need to do is click on click on business settings this particular box here click on it then click on right click on billing then open link in a new tab So, um, the reason why I have this on is because I already had a payment information. I already had a payment method to my account. But if you are, if you don't have any, you won't be able to see all this. So let me click on payment settings. Let us you want to add it for the first time. Just click on payment settings. Then under payment settings, you'll be able to see where to add your payment method. This is a result of service. Okay, you can see add payment method. I have my payment method added. I have two payment methods here. I have my PayPal and I have my um I have my my main card too. So that doesn't mean for the first time you want to add payment method. You click on add payment method. Now the best way to pay on Facebook is to use your PayPal account. Are you with me or you use your card directly so any of the two if it's your card just add it if the card is not approved that means you should go and create a paypal account as you create a paypal account check my channel you will see um a tutorial a detailed tutorial on how to create a paypal account and how to also input it on into your facebook ad account or your facebook pay so that's how you want to add a paypal you want to click on paypal if you click on continue it's going to open a new tab or a new um, browser of the one you are using then you are going to log in your paypal account details so from there you will connect your paypal or you add your credit card if you add your credit credit card once it is accepted but before it will accept it's going to try to charge you or uh, like one dollar to check if there is money in the account if there's money there then you are good to go so that's how to add payments method to your other account so um i wish you best of luck in anything you place your hand on i give my own self camodin alone in reading you can try to reach me on facebook via camodin alone reach me on instagram or any other social media just camodin alone then try to leave a comment on this video if you find value in it make sure you like and subscribe to my channel then share with your loved ones people that need it so this um how simple it is and how the best way to create um, sales adverts using paid post engagement. So I wish you best of luck. I remember my humble self Camodin alone. They do have a wonderful day and a wonderful week ahead of you. More money into your bank accounts by the special grace of God. Bye bye.